My name is Christian Straub and I'm heading Custom Advisory Finance for Middle and Eastern Europe. Welcome to this session on how to innovate and accelerate your finance processes with SAP s Cloud. I'm glad to have you joining and I'm glad to have you connecting with me afterwards. So let me start it off right away with a key question. What is the value that s Cloud delivers to finance leaders? I always think there are three main value areas. First of all, the ability to manage your business in real time and based on predictive information using this integrated steering model universal journal consisting of actual, plan, and consolidated data. Second, and that's important to all of you, the ability to drive down operations costs by automating using finance innovation capabilities such as continuous accounting and embedded technologies such as machine learning and RPA. And once you have automated those, those processes and once you have gotten real-time insight, of course, the ability to manage the processes by exception. Such as we see here, for example, using the accounts payable example, where you monitor the key performance indicators, such as days payable outstanding, cash discount utilization, or payables aging in real time. But you're also able to look at the exceptions, such as where do I have invoices that are got blocked that I have to take action on. Or in the receivables management space, there's so much innovation coming out of the new receivables management around collections management, around dispute and credit management. And you get real-time insight into all of these KPIs around that, such as uh, cash collection status and, and progress, AR aging, the risk breakdown into the different risk categories. And you can look at the exceptions, for example, of the sales orders that exceed credit limits. Or looking, for example, at assets, right, the fixed assets, where you want to monitor your asset balances in real time and have an overview on all of your asset transactions and the different valuations. And the integrated asset processes, such as assets under construction, where you link to procurement and other logistical processes. But of course, it's not just about fixed assets. When we look at our financial assets, there's a whole new set of innovation in the space of treasury and cash management, getting in real-time insight into your debt and investments, into your hedging, and of course, into your liquidity for the different business areas, your company codes, your regions, the cash position, and combining that with a cash flow forecast. So to see where I'm going to end up in a 90 days forecast, where am I, am I going to end up next month? Yeah, this is key to managing your liquidity apparently. And of course, and that is key to s hana Cloud overall, the integration of accounting and controlling, which allows you to get a real-time view on profitability, analyzing your product profitability, your divisional profitability, looking at all the relevant dimensions that you need to analyze your business. All of that in close integration and alignment with the accounting reports. And when we look at the financial close, right, there's a lot of opportunity to really change the entire stack of closing from the entity to the group close, accelerating all the closing steps and integrating that on one integrated data model and one orchestration platform. And that leads, of course, at the end to real-time insight for your financial statements, right, looking at P&L and balance sheet and all the related processes around journal vouchers. So there's a lot that you can benefit from using as a Fahana cloud. But the question is, how do you get there? And when I talk with customers or from my experience with transformations, I think there's four key perspectives that we have to look at in such a transformation exercise. First, we have to understand the starting point of the transformation. So what is the transformation potential that I really have as a business? From there, I have to look at how do I want to redesign my processes? A lot of process structures have grown dramatically over the last years. You run a lot of systems. The master data have exploded, has exploded. The charts of accounts have, have grown. You have a lot of cost centers, profit centers. You want to cut that down. You want to achieve simplicity so that you really can benefit from the innovation and the capabilities we deliver on the product side. And then, of course, it's about the process innovation that comes out of s Cloud, but also the linked applications, such as the business technology platform delivering machine learning and RPA. And important, you want to change stepwise, right? You want to change stepwise, you want to deliver value stepwise, and that's why an incremental value creation and an incremental transformation is key to most of our customers. But it's not just about changing incrementally and getting innovation in incrementally. You also have to make sure you really assure that you deliver the value that you have been promising to your key stakeholders, yeah? to your business case that you have calculated maybe up front. That's why SAP has come up with an integrated offering called SAP Value Assurance that helps you along the, all the phases of the transformation initiative to look at value assurance from a holistic point of view. Now, let's start off by looking at business process insight. 
And Business Process Insight is a key aspect and part of SAP's integrated business process intelligence strategy that holistically looks at data-driven insight into business processes so you can analyze your current process performance, you can simulate uh, improvements into those processes, and you have a continuous monitoring of the process performance going forward using business benchmarks. Let me give you a preview there of what could be helping you in the future. Let's assume you're a finance process manager and you look at your finance process dashboard and you see that certain KPIs are read in your process performance. So you're looking at the value drivers in more details and you see that reducing day sales outstanding, which is a key target that you're having, is not in a perfect shape, meaning that certain KPIs are read comparing to an industry benchmark. So you want to understand that in more detail, right? So you go into the details using the flow insights perspective where you see the process flow, each of the process steps, and you see what are the blockers, what are the issues that you have with those process steps. In our example, as you see here, it's all about automation of invoice creation or allocation of incoming payments, so clearing of open items. Imagine a system would then recommend to you what you should do, what you should implement. And this recommendation could flow directly to IT, so they would deliver this capability that comes out of Asfana Cloud such as we see here, the increase of the automation rate for the invoice creation. But not everything can be fixed by standard capabilities. Yeah? Maybe when you look at behavioral mining, you see that in certain process steps, you have high manual efforts and you want to get up the automation rate there. So why not having the system recommend to you what you should, could do on, in terms of delivering an RPA bot to automate that? Yeah? A recommendation, hey, use a bot using the RPA platform and automate this process step. So you see there's a bunch of uh, capabilities that business process intelligence could bring to you in your Asfana cloud transformation journey, not just getting the insight, but also optimizing your process performance. So understanding the starting point apparently is key to then doing a process redesign and process innovation. So based on the insight you're having, you now want to look at how you redesign your business processes. And redesigning business processes as I said, right, refers to streamlining the process itself in terms of cutting out uh, no longer needed developments, cutting down the crone master data structures, cleaning up the chart of account, thinking about how you really want to leverage the universal channel. What are the business dimensions you want to steer your business and how you want to change maybe your organizational setup. Potentially on a controlling side, you want to merge controlling areas or you want to change the company code structure. The great thing is with S4HANA Cloud, you can go into a full process redesign where you basically throw away the old process garbage and go to a net new process standard using process best practices and a maximum of process standardization. But also if you need your process heritage to a certain extent or you want to keep certain developments that you invested in, you can go into a selective process redesign, which means that you keep good part of your processes, but you change certain other areas in your process setup uh, and your data structures. The selective process change means you combine the best of a migration with the best of a greenfield implementation. And s Cloud allows you to go from any of those ideas and starting points for your transformation into a real cloud setup. And that's a great message as I think. Now, once you have thought about your process redesign, you also want, of course, leverage new process capabilities net new innovation that comes out of s And we've seen the Fiori cockpits in the very beginning, right, that all relate to process experience. So how do I experience a process looking at ex exception, looking at real-time data? But of course, it's also about process orchestration. There's a lot of capability in s Cloud allows you to structure workflows from scratch, to use RPA to structure end-to-end -end process chains. And of course, there's a lot of process capabilities in different functional domains and how to address those process capabilities, I think that's an important thing you have to look at. I strongly recommend to use integrated capability models, and this is a one page I often use with our customers, where you look at the different finance domains, such as, for example, end-to-end -end financial steering from sales and financial planning up to disclosure, looking at automated finance operations, looking at cash and treasury, looking at continuous and close, and the end-to-end -end processes to shape a holistic business picture and to discuss with each of those business areas what the improvement potential is for them. Because often we see that certain business functions are not really part of the transformation. 
For example, tax is often forgotten or risk management is often forgotten. Using integrated capability model helps you to structure the innovation discussion, looking holistically at what SAP, SAP can provide to you and helps you really to engage with all the different business areas so you have a perfect business case coming up in the end. When we transform our business processes and innovate them, it's important that we do so incrementally. Nobody wants to have a big, big project and to come up only at the very end of the project with hopefully some value. So incremental process change and value creation is important. And that could mean that you start with, for example, a cloud satellite yeah, for close orchestration or cash management. But you can also go for a much, much more fundamental option, which is SAP Central Finance. So what is SAP Central Finance? SAP Central Finance is basically the ability to go for a finance first strategy where you set up S4 on a cloud as a finance innovation platform, first of all, and you keep full continuity on your existing systems and processes so you don't touch them. What you do is you replicate finance information in real time into this new finance innovation platform. And then you start to, to consume these new capabilities that we have just been discussing. You start to redesign your processes there, meaning you look at new reporting processes. We call it decisional instance, be it management reporting, be it legal reporting. You start to harmonize processes based on your existing legacy infrastructure and legacy processes. You harmonize them based on this central innovation platform. And if you want so, you can use central finance as a full transformation platform, also transforming them into end-to-end -end processes, including logistical processes. Why? Because s a Cloud is an end-to-end -end system. So you can start with a finance transformation initiative, stepwise create value there, but later go into an end-to-end -end transformation. So reducing risk in projects, reducing the disruption that you have on your existing landscapes and existing processes, but at the same time going into process innovation that is what is possible with central finance. Now, we have talked about change, about process innovation and process redesign. But as I said in the beginning, what is key is, of course, that you ensure you really deliver on the value promise. That's why we have SAP Value Assurance, a dedicated offering that, based on whatever type of project you have, partner-led or SAP-led, SAP can deliver to you certain standardized packages that help you with assuring the creation of value along all of the steps of the process. That could mean in a base package, just looking at planning and safeguarding, reviewing architecture and helping you to structure the project governance. But it could also mean that, it, that SAP provides you with full design and build support, yeah? really delivering on the implementation and on the post-project steps. So it's up to you and to decide on to what uh, level of depth you want to have SAP involved in the delivery but one thing is for sure with this offering value assurance will be much much easier than it is maybe nowadays. So let me summarize it here in terms of what s Cloud does for you in terms of innovating finance processes. First of all with the new business process intelligence strategy it helps you to get insight into your starting point of the transformation and into the improvement potential that you have. Then it helps you to redesign processes from any starting point into the cloud, be it a full process standardization or a selective process change. And it helps you to innovate the processes using net new capabilities in s using the integrated capability model that I just outlined uh, or other end-to-end -end perspectives that you may want to leverage. And using central finance for incrementally changing your business and SAP value assurance you can really ensure that you leverage the value that you're promising to the business. Thank you for being part of the session. I wish you all the best for your transformation. Stay safe and in case of questions, please reach out to me. Thank you.